Hello, it's Jeff from the Code Saturn development team. And today I will show you a very useful feature of Code Saturn, which is the boundary layer insertion. And to do that, I just downloaded from the internet a cat file of a car that I'm going to open with Salome. So here is a cat file of our car. And what we're going to do now is to create a box around this car. And to do this, we'll simply create two vertices. The first one, for example, at uh, 10 minus 5 minus 5 and the other one at minus 3 5 5 and then we create a box with those two points vertex 2 vertex 1 and once we've done that we'll cut the box by the car and to do this, we go in Operation, Boolean, Cut. And we select the main object, the box, and the tool object, the car. So once this is OK, the next step will be to get the boundary faces of the car so that we will be able to generate boundary faces in the CFD computation. And to do this, we just select the cut and click on explode and subtype shell. And as you can see here, we now have the interior, which is shell one, and the exterior, which is shell two. And we're going to rename this car surface. Now we can move to the mesh module and create a new mesh of our cut and here we'll maybe select a GMSH to mesh and add some parameters here for example we just set the max size of the mesh to 1 and then we can compute the mesh the last step will be to generate mesh groups on our mesh and to do this, we simply right click on the mesh, click on create group, click on faces here and group on geometry. And here we're going to select the car surface we made earlier and apply and close. And as you can see now, we have a group of face in our mesh, which is the surface of the car. So now, we can just export our mesh, for example, in CGNS. So I just created a cut Saturn study and I moved the mesh I just created in the mesh folder. And now we're going to open the GUI of cut Saturn. And we're going to do uh, pre-processing of this mesh. So here I selected pre-processing, I select the mesh I just created, I save and then I run. Okay, let's open this with Paraview. So here is our mesh and I'm going to show you the inside of the mesh by making a clipping and here is the inside and as you can see for now we don't have any boundary layers around the car okay so we're back in our cut saturn case and now we will go in the src folder the src folder will contain all the user sources for the case in this folder you have two main folders the reference one which will contain all the user sources and the example one, which contains the user sources, but with examples. And what we're going to do here is to open a terminal and to copy from the reference folder, the file CS underscore user underscore mesh in the SRC file here. And we have it here. But as you can see, it is completely blank. So to fill this file, 
we're going to open the online documentation of Code Saturn. Once you open the online documentation, you will find an item called user example. You have just to click on it. And then the first item is pre-processing and mesh modification example. You can click on it. And then if you scroll down, you will find the boundary layer example here. And then all you have to do is to copy this piece of code and to paste it here in the CS user mesh modify function. Okay, now once you've done this, you will have to modify the example. So let me give you some explanation about this example. So the first line here defines the number of zones on which you want to have boundary layer insertion. Here, we just have one zone, which is the surface of the car. Then you have a selection criteria for this zone. And if you remember well, we created a group of face, it was called group one, which was the surface of the car. Next, you have the zone layers. Here, it defines the number of cells in your boundary layer. Here, we will simply add, for example, five layers. Then the zone thickness defines the thickness of the boundary layer. You can prescribe a value or put minus one so that the code automatically defines the thickness of your boundary layer. Then you have the zone expansion. Here we'll basically, for example, put 0.8. And another parameter that you can change will be here, this 0.2 means the maximum ratio of volume between two cells. Here, we'll simply let it as it is. And you can save. Let's go back in the graphical user interface of Code Saturn and have a try. Here is the results and I'm going to create a clip in the mesh to show you the interior of the mesh. And here is the mesh and you can see that you have those nice boundary layers around the car that appears. If the results doesn't correspond to what you expected, you might want to change the settings in the CS user mesh file and to try again. In any case, I hope this tutorial was useful and I say you goodbye.